Yeah, back up a little. Hey, everybody. It's me, RJ. It's your boy. Today, let's open it out of the other box, but I took it off because it had the address, and I don't want y'all stalking me unless you want to. All right. All right. If you're stalking me, you better be bringing me presents. I'm just saying. All right. Vivo Home 4 CFM Vacuum Pump High Performance. I got one of their welders, and it works really good. Um, it's a high efficiency, low noise, and internal high volume cooling fan, heavy duty aluminum alloy casing, oil drain plug positioned at bottom of oil reservoir, exhaust port with exhaust cap, comes with a storage bag, a bottle of vacuum oil, a manifold set, and a leak detector. Okay? So. I will put the link up for this. It was like 130 bucks or something, right? Oh, it comes in a little bag. Got a little case. It does that. That's cute. Right there. It comes with a storage bag. That is fake. Look at that. That is nice, y'all. All right. So if you're like me, you got Dodge. Everything likes to break all the time. No. It's 20. It's a 97. Built in 96. So it's like 25 years old. All right. So here's the halogen leak detector. Detect all halogen and refrigerants. Real-time sensor adjustment. The maximum level within high precise oh stabilized volts I see. Super low power circuit design enables stability and long usage. Adopt high quality sensor, high sensitivity and long usage. Okay. So, yeah. It's a buzzer style leak detector. You put it around, you'll know if you're leaking. That's dope. I just bought leak detector, actual leak detector, glasses and black light, which I don't need anymore. What? I'm just trying to, I'm spinning. Okay. You're not. You tap me. Like, no. What? I was trying to spin myself. Yeah. I'm sure. Trying to spin the face. All right. So here's what you get. Okay. High side. Low side. And you're like, those ain't any different. You can kind of tell. Slightly smaller. I don't know what the exact numbers are, but they are. So on mine, I kept trying to buy at the junkyard or at the parts store, and all they were selling was the replaceable high side. Said it was the low, but when I got it, it was the high side. So I had to go to the junkyard and get a bunch of them just in case. Uh, the valve in them goes bad, but it's not a Schrader valve on these. It's different. I might show you in a minute how they look. All right, we got all these brackets hooking into the top of a can of RC-134. There's a nice little gauge. Okay, high, low. Boom, boom. You can see your levels. Okay. As you can see, the PSI, 50, 100, 150, 200, 100, 200, 760. So it's 760, 550, okay? Low side and high side. Here's your cables. Here's a nice little owner's manual telling you how to put it together and what it's for and how it works, okay? Let's see what else we got here. I'm going to have to go through all this stuff. I'm going to have to get some uh, batteries, I'm guessing. Maybe they're in there for that leak detector. We will find out in a minute. Here's the vacuum pump. Here's some instructions. Here is your vacuum pump oil. Uh, my all leaked out, so I'm going to need to put some in. Uh, you can get the oil cans that have it in, but I'm a little worried that that was enough. But you can buy the pool with the oil. I don't know. Rotary vein vacuum pump. All right. And there you go okay you're gonna plug this into those gauges you're gonna put this on exhaust okay and you're gonna hook into here okay and then you're gonna see the levels it's gonna tell you when you're min max when you vacuum everything out check oil level before use okay mm-hmm mm -hmm. okay and then we're gonna go through the manuals it's gonna tell you how to get it all ready see it Okay. If there's badly contaminated sludge, it formed water or allowed to connect both. All right. I'm not going to read all the manuals and go over everything, but this is the opening of this. Um, oh, I did not do the leak detector, did I? <coughs> right, let's check it. See if it works. If you got a leak, it'll buzz. Let's test it and see if it's on. All right, everybody. So here's the video of the batteries. I don't know why I had to tell you it's video, but it takes four double A. If you have a helper that goes to get it and is a butt. I thought you said three. Uh-huh. <laughs> they went and got me three and handed it and was, I was like, uh, four? And they're like, eh. All right. Look at my butt. Don't look at my butt. All right, so here we go. 
put that bad boy in there. Be careful with it. It's really tight. Really tight fit. <laughs> All right. Plug it back in. Here's your instructions in case you don't know how to turn on the knob. Good Lord. It does not want to fit. It's tight. Turn the knob on. Adjust sensitivity to a suitable degree. Detection begins six seconds after turning on the detector. Search for leaks. Ticking turns to sharply... Siren in presence of refrigerant leak. Recalibrate the ticking siren. Continue searing, searching until the leak is pinpointed. Okay, you ready? Okay. Mm, you hear it? <laughs> oh, man. We got a serious, serious methane leak here, guys. All right, it's definitely leaking. Why is it beeping? So it's much? definitely leaking. So there we go. Beep, 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 beep. All right, there's my review. It isn't a review, it's an unboxing. I am going to make a video of me vacuuming out my pump and stuff, so you're going to watch that if you watch me do my AC refrigerant filling on my Dodge Ram. So there you go. I have a link to buy this in the description below. It'll be the lowest price you can find of this system on Amazon. Help me. Help you. Help me. You buy it, I might make a dollar. I just say it because it's like a hundred. I don't know. It's kind of high, I might make a dollar. So help me out. I can keep making these videos. Let me do my work because I could just open this and get to work. But instead, I waste 20 minutes of my life making a video for you think not it was 20 minutes of my life so there we go yeah yeah let me open this up and tell you real quick okay. there's the connectors there's the connectors there's that there's that what are that these are the high and low this goes to your actual cans of coolant which we'll get right there okay so yeah that's it boom boom Okay, connector, connector. Dum, 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 dum. Okay, is that all I got? Is that it? Mm-hmm. All right, so yeah, there we go. Please like, subscribe, every little bit helps during these times. As always, I'm RJ. Season that each and every day. Bye-bye.